Hello everyone, welcome back to the Wisconsin Greg Show. I'm here in Lake Geneva, Wisconsin again today. Uh, just because it's a beautiful, beautiful day, uh, there's tons of people walking around here in the next uh, about three days we got rain expected. So I figured I'd better come out and uh, make a video and uh, get some exercise. Um, right down by the lake right now, um, there's a war memorial here. Um, I'm going to turn that around and show it to you. There's also a piece of artwork here. See, they're poppies. So I'll turn this around here and show it to you. Um, lots of people uh, out today because they, they're all got the same idea as me. Let's get out and get some sunshine. I've seen about three bicycles already. Uh, White or, uh, Lake Geneva has uh, ice on it pretty much yet, except for just around the edges. Uh, when I came through Delavan, uh, by the Delavan Inlet, I seen one guy out there on a boat already. Uh, but there's nobody out here on a boat yet. Um, just a little while ago I heard some bangs, I don't know, it sounds like an explosion on the opposite side of the lake and then I heard some like sirens and stuff, so I don't know what that was all about. Hopefully it's nothing too serious. Uh, but anyways, uh, let me turn this camera around here and show you these flowers. It's a pretty cool piece of artwork. Pretty cool, it's uh, a little taller than me, so I'm guessing it's around, I don't know, seven, seven and a half feet tall, something like that. Pretty cool. Let me uh, take you over here by this stone. I don't know if this is new. I don't remember seeing the stone before uh, with this all this carved into it before. This might be something new. But I'll uh, leave this right here. And uh, you can put it on pause if you want and read it. It's kind of, kind of an interesting saying. Talking about the poppy. Memory of all those who served our country by Friends of the Servicemen's Club. It's very nice, very, very nice. And of course, above, we got Old Glory flying. In the nice, nice blue sky. Look at that beautiful sky. Here you can. Uh, see what's left of the ice out here thank goodness there ain't nobody out there because <laughs> I think there's only maybe one more day left of it maybe two more days if, at the most yeah when I got out of the truck it was like 55 degrees it's supposed to get up to about 59 60 degrees I drove through the town and oh my goodness it's packed. Looks like there's a festival going on. Which there is in part of the town, uh, it's, it's pretty much over now. Uh, they had a Maple Fest going on here in town. I've never been to that. I was going to go but I didn't make it. Lots of airplanes flying around today, bicyclists riding around. I haven't seen no motorcycles yet, but I'm sure they're out. Everybody's enjoying the day because they know it's not going to last long. Uh, about uh, after today, I think we got about three more days of wet weather before we get another nice, nice day again. That's the way it's been going. Most of the time when we do get a nice day, it's like... 20 mile an hour plus winds and today there's hardly any wind so it's beautiful so I just figured I'd bring you along come with come take a walk I think in about mid-April they start giving rides on the lake again uh, you got about two or three or maybe more boats real big boats here they give rides on you can purchase tickets and go uh, one's called a mail boat that mail boat goes around the lake and the mailman jumps off, has to deliver the mail and hurry up and run back and jump back on the boat before the boat's gone. It's kind of cool. <coughs> Sometimes they have auditions of people that want the job. 
after practice. And uh, it's pretty funny watching some of them. Some of them don't make it and they fall. Fall in the lake, get wet. I'd be really quick for that job. Well, that's a, like big planes flying around, kind of like uh, old military, like collectible ones or, I don't know what you call them, classics. Old military planes flying around today. A beautiful day, a nice clear blue sky. <sighs> A lot of times, I don't know if you live in the area here, you'll see the um, Geneva Shore Report is a kind of a news agency and they make videos around here and around this area a lot. So I wouldn't be surprised if we run into them making a video today sometime, but never know. Lots of people make videos nowadays. That building right there is where they have a lot of the snow sculptures in the winter. So if you've seen that video, this is where we're at right now. We're back at that area. And out there is where the big boats go, where they give the boat tours. I'm going to see if I can walk out there. I don't know if they got them bridges or, or uh, piers, I mean, um, blocked off. Maybe you can walk out on the pier. I'm not sure if I can go out there or not. <clears throat> the building is called the Riviera. They got a nice water fountain here in front of the Riviera. It was vandalized. I don't know if it was a year or two years ago, but they finally got it fixed. But not sure if it's not probably not back in operation yet because of the winter. They had it in operation a little bit last year before winter, and and then they closed it up for the winter again. But nice to get that going again. And uh, I think I do believe the people that vandalized it did get caught. There were a couple of younger kids, I believe. I don't think they got this opened up yet. It's kind of blocked off here. It's the water fountain I was talking about. But there's no water in there yet. Water's very, very clear right in this area here. Well, if you can see down in there.
This area gets a lot of people from all over the country, world, come here to see this area. It's beautiful here. I was in Vegas in, I think, either 88 or 99, one of those two years, and I talked to a, one of the guys at the hotel, and uh, he knew exactly where this place was. Get a lot, a lot of Illinois people come up here because it's real close to Illinois, not far. Lots of car horns going off today. <clears throat> Isn't that a beautiful picture right there? I don't know if you can see it right on the edge of the ice out there. Got some seagulls sitting there. See in the water here, it's really, really clear. You see there's a plastic chair laying out there. <laughs> oh, wind must have blew it out there. I'm going to keep on going along here. A little, a little flying plane there, looting out some smoke. I don't know if you can see it, I can't see my screen. I'm hoping I'm catching that. Another plane right up there. Looks like a jet of some sort. Boy, the planes are really out today. I have to say, that's the first time I've ever seen the plane do that around this area. Wonder if he's going to spell a word. Gonna walk down through the stores by the stores and do a little window shopping. See what we can see. Everybody's sitting outside today. Enjoying the weather. Look at them all. <laughs> Friendly people are waving at me. <clears throat> That's the way it should be. This store here is really, really cool. Or wait, which one? Let's see if I'm at the right spot. Yeah, they got um, oil paintings always for sale. Really, really cool. I'm not going to go in with my camera, but I'll show you these. It's just, the whole store is just full of paintings. All stacked up all on the floors, on the sides, on the walls, everywhere. If you ever get a chance to come here, it's really, really cool. Says they range from $19 to $59, over a thousand original oil paintings. And the store is very, very tiny, I'll tell you. Very cool. Very nice, too. 
some more over here. Kind of hard to see through the glass. I'm sorry about that. If I ever get a gimbal for my other camera, which I'm trying to save up for, um, I'll be able to see the stuff like that better because I got a filter for my lens that will let me see stuff like that better without the glare. And the traffic here. A very, very beautiful tourist town. Indoor artist artisan market. Wine tasting today. I guess they aim to please both sides. Very interesting, the price difference there. I kind of find that kind of funny. We're right on the, the Illinois border, not far away, so there's Lots of bear fans and lots of Packer fans right here, so there's always disputes going on about that in this area with the sports fans, but I tell you what, over the past few years, uh, because of the stuff that's happened in the world and stuff, uh, sports is not as popular as it used to be. So I'm going to go back the other way. Ah, there's a motorcycle. I knew they were out today. Huh. Another one over there, another motorcycle.
Here's another gallery called Gallery 223. I don't know if you can see in there or not with the reflection, but I'll try to show you some of the pictures. Lots of uh, sunflowers for the what's going on over by Ukraine, I guess. Right over here, got the Geneva Theater. This is the first theater I've ever seen a movie in when I was a kid. My neighbor's parents, or my, well, they ended up becoming my neighbor. They weren't the neighbor at the time. But uh, the, their parents uh, took me to the movies here, and I don't remember exactly what movie it was. It was, uh, I believe, some Disney video about a fox or something. But um, this was really run down, and uh, a few years back, uh, they, uh, somebody bought it and remodeled the whole thing. I haven't been in it since it's remodeled, but they sure did a nice job, let me tell you. Beautiful. I'm glad they saved it. I hope they continue to save it. I know it's been a rough time with the pandemic and stuff for these businesses, so hopefully they can keep it going. There's like no good lighting. This uh, place I'm not really familiar with. Uh, looks like it was a church at one time. It's called Topsy Turvy Brewery right now. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna have to check that out. It says there's shops in there sometime. When I don't have my camera with me, I don't like going in some of these private places with cameras, especially without getting permission ahead of time. But kind of different. A church that used to be a church now it's a brewery. store I'm gonna have to check out sometime. I don't recall seeing that before neither. The beef jerky experience. See it, taste it, share it. Free samples. It's cool. I uh, always like to look at the old buildings down the back alleys and stuff. Pretty cool, some of them. This store here coming up. It's got some pretty cool stuff out on their lawns that they sell. Uh, pretty cool metal artwork. I'll come down here and walk through it and show you, show you everything here. Lots of dragons and stuff like that. Big, big, big lawn ornaments too. And some pretty strange looking ones too. One looks like it's still got the egg on it. <laughs> some gargoyles and everything.
all made out of metal. That's the name of the store right there. Rawr. I got big old bird sweeping down, sweeping down to get me over here. seen my camera so he stopped he didn't want no evidence <laughs> Look at this car, it's still in the crate. Guess you'd call that a Woody, wouldn't you? <laughs> you see all kinds of stuff here in Lake Geneva. It's a perfect, perfect day here in Wisconsin, boy. Oh my goodness, it's nice. Boy, everybody's out walking their dogs today. A happy day for the puppies. Well, thank you all that stuck it out and came along with me, and uh, hope you enjoyed the little walk. Um, hope it gets nice where you're at so you can get out there and enjoy the, enjoy the nice uh, weather coming in your area hopefully soon. And uh, we'll catch you all later. Make sure, make sure to leave a thumbs up if you're not subscribed. Subscribe to my channel. Uh, do lots of stuff like this. Uh, there'll be some farming stuff coming pretty soon. I have a small farm. And uh, there's all kinds of art stuff and everything else on my channel. So there's always something there for everybody. So we'll catch you later. Have a great day. Bye. Bye now.